Hi there, my name is Jane Nelson. I'm the manager of animal welfare for the Langley Animal Protection Society um, here at the Patty Dale Animal Shelter. And uh, with me today is uh, Demi, uh, an adorable uh, 10 or 12 week old kitten, and uh, of course the lovely Kayla Chapman, who is our. Um, I am a trainer and adoption counselor here at LAPS and also the head um, animal care attendant, the supervisor. And uh, so this is our first uh, attempt at a video blog. Um, hopefully it is something that uh, we'll be able to do on a regular basis and hopefully people will enjoy it. Um, we are going to talk about a big event that we had uh, happen this weekend, which was our second kitten roundup. And um, essentially what it is is we open up the shelter for one day and encourage people to bring in unwanted kittens under six months old and uh, pregnant moms. And um, the reason that we started our kitten roundup was uh, in response to several litters, um, which happens, it's, it's not an unusual story, um, it was in response to uh, litters of kittens ending up in uh, dumpsters, taped in uh, boxes, uh, left in Rubbermaid containers in the park on a hot day, um, and literally just a few days before this kitten roundup, five beautiful kittens were found at the bottom of a trash can by a garbage uh, collector and um, you know fortunately he heard them uh, otherwise they would have uh, they would have died most likely they were uh, covered in fleas and uh, covered in urine in their own feces uh, they were in just you know the bottom of a very tiny uh, trash can so um, kitten roundup is uh, meant to help people um, see that there's an option, see that there are other um, options for them rather than abandoning their kittens, they can actually just bring them into the shelter and there's uh, no judgment, no surrender fees, um, we try to make it as easy as we can. Uh, so Demi actually uh, came in uh, before uh, Kitten Roundup, but um, she is an example certainly of uh, the kinds of kittens that come in. We had um, about um, we had nine pregnant moms come in on the day, sorry, nine females come in on the day and three pregnant moms uh, and, we, uh, and then one intact male and then we had three cats come in uh, the next day. So um, we're sort of uh, guessing that uh, we have prevented probably 120 unborn uh, kittens, or sorry, 120 kittens from being born uh, this <coughs> year, which is, um, I think, yeah, yeah, that makes us happy. We uh, love kittens, and uh, as for sure everyone does, and um, I guess we, um, we just want people to know that the most loving thing that they can do when they're in a position uh, that they're not able to care for their cats is to uh, come to a shelter. Uh, so I think what we'll do is, uh, now that you've met Demi, and uh, see how adorable she is with her little uh, white whiskers, um, we're going to go and uh, have a look at uh, some of our cats that came in that are uh, currently in isolation. And um, the idea behind that is um, we want to make sure that the rest of the cats that um, are here already at the shelter aren't exposed to any uh, upper respiratory infections or any skin uh, conditions, ringworm, that sort of thing. And uh, so you'll see Becky doing uh, a bit of her thing in home. <laughs> um, drive by high five yeah. um, in, her, in the uh, ISO rooms and um, ISO is really uh, time consuming because um, you know we have to pull out a gown and uh, follow very strict isolation uh, protocols but uh, you'll see even in our ISO rooms they've got lots of space uh, which again helps them uh, get better quicker so that they can uh, be adopted more quickly. I don't know I feel like this is